Hello, I'm User Friendly's Assistant, and this is the new version of the gamepad thing. So this is not that, that's empty. This is the original version that's been on my Patreon for a while. And I recently had a request for a sort of sample and hold deal on the joysticks. I actually had to remove some things to get it to fit and decided that it's kind of time to just sort of completely redo things. I'm going to start with the accelerometer because this wasn't even there on the old version. And basically, if you see right here, that little yellow line, it's just sensing how quickly I'm moving it in one direction or the other. Whereas the gyroscope, it's going to stay. So for the pitch here, it's going to be the yellow line. You can see it's always kind of like moving. Let me smooth it a little bit. So that's always moving no matter what. Whereas the accelerometer, it's sensing how quickly you're moving it. And these two little lines here, they're the threshold for when this is going to trigger. So the green line, that's going to send out this MIDI note. And the red line, that's going to send out this MIDI note. There's velocity as well. And then obviously, because you would need to, you can turn these two off. But again, you can turn the MIDI on and off for all of the buttons now. So it's going to take it. It's a little weird because, for example, when you go back, you're naturally going to kind of want to like go back to where you were before. But if you do that, at a similar velocity, you're going to trigger the bottom one, which you may not want to. That's why there's smoothing for, or a uh, threshold for each one individually. So, you know, you might always go back with a lot of force, but you go down without as much. Does that make sense? You have to play with it. There's smoothing for it in case you're like, have shaky hands or whatever else. You can kind of get rid of some of that. The switch, that's, that's going to stay on until I trigger the other side. Again, there's that thing where it's like you naturally want to go back down, but you have to kind of like hold it there, stay there, and then go back down. Trig is just going to be trig. And then toggle, that's going to stay on until I trigger it again. I'll show you over here. It might make a little more sense. Come on, do the thing. So that's going to stay on until I do it again. And again, you can see how much more sensitive this red line is. That's why I keep accidentally triggering it a little bit. You do have to practice it. It's not broken. It's just the nature of an accelerometer. That's that. And then y'all is weird. This is y'all. And I don't actually, like, I can't make it feel natural. Whereas that feels very natural. You know, you can almost kind of like... whatever. Stop it. All right. That's the accelerometer. That's how it works. Uh, MIDI and switching and whatever. Oh, obviously the, these two here, those are going to be for the yellow line. So this yellow line right here is going to come out of these two map buttons. The reason there's two of them is so that way you can kind of set it up in such a way that, you know, if you move in the downward direction, that's going to say, open a low pass or close a low pass and the top way would be you have to play with it. I'm still learning it too, but it's there and it does make sense. Trust me for the stuff that was there before, like the joystick, you can see that this line right here is not moving, but this one is, it's not broken. It's set on track and hold. So right now it's only going to move unless I press down on the joystick. 
that's just the gate source I have set. You can set it to whatever you want, like a square button or whatever. You can't see this menu right now, but it's kind of a big list of things. You can even set it to the accelerometer. So you could use the accelerometer to sort of uh, turn this one or off or the gyroscope or whatever else. Sample and hold is gonna be, it's always gonna move until you trigger it and then it's gonna stay there. The sample and hold or track and hold section is gonna be the same anywhere in the device. So for example, it's on the touchpad and the gyroscope and the triggers, it's still gonna work the same. There's sample and hold, track and hold, and then you can select the gate source. These map buttons are independent of these ones. So you can see these little indicators here. These two map buttons, they're always going to be on, whereas these are tied to the sample and holds. So that way you don't completely lose the joystick to this whole sample and hold business. For the triggers, which each one of these buttons and toggles and whatever has the ability to send out a trigger. So right now this is going to, from 0% to 100%. Now it's at 100% and it's going to stay there until I click it off again. That's gonna be the same for all of these, including the MIDI stuff. So how this is right now, if I, actually let me move. That's trigger and this is toggle. Or we could just turn the MIDI off completely. The triggers, another new thing I added was this MIDI trigger sensitivity. So as this is right now, if I barely touch this trigger, even all the way down, it's gonna send the MIDI note. Now you can adjust that. So now I really have to squeeze the trigger before it's gonna send out that MIDI note. Otherwise, this is kind of the same as the other one. There's the sample slash track and hold and the triggers. And then you can obviously send out this voltage here or from the sample and hold. Straightforward. The touchpad is now, uh, is it two axes or four axes? <clears throat> I'm really dumb. I don't know. Either way, there's X and Y for this finger, and there's X and Y for a second finger. But you can only get the second finger if you have the first finger on. Does that make sense? So, for example, I can't. It's not this side or this side. It's tracking how many fingers are touching. So if you wanted to control X2 and Y2, you would need to have your finger there, and then you can sort of control them, if that makes sense. Another way to look at this would be this two-finger tap toggle, which basically is gonna to toggle on, and this is super sensitive. You have to like, let go at the exact same time. Come on, go like that. Now it's gonna stay high until I hit it with one finger again. There's slide up and slide down. So that way you can sort of use this like an envelope. Come on, there. And then the MIDI out for contact with the pad and MIDI out for pressing down on the pad. This is another thing where it's like, to press down, you're gonna to have to make contact. So if you don't want this mini note, you can just turn it off. For the buttons, it's kind of the same as it was before, except you can assign the note, the velocity, turn it on and off, trigger, toggle, all the same stuff as it was before. Plus there's now this switch section down here. So you'll notice, and I'm not gonna, go over to the D pads here because it's a little easier to say or explain. Only one of these can be on at a time. This is because most of the time when I use this, I kind of use it like a switch to change chords, if that makes sense. But either way, it's going to be there for these four buttons, these four buttons, and now these four buttons, which these two were here before, the mute button was here before, but now the home button is also there. 
If you're on Mac, this may open like a game section window. You want to go to, I think it's Bluetooth, and then go to the controller, and then turn something off. I can't remember what it is. If you Google how to turn the home button on PS5 on Mac off, it should come up. On that note, speaking of Bluetooth, you still have to have the cable connected to use the gyroscope or the touchpad or accelerometer. I'm assuming it's just because of the amount of data, something, I don't know, it's out of my control. And then there's gyroscope, which is basically the same as before, but now there's the sample and hold and track and hold for pitch or yaw. Again, this is different than the accelerometer. So you can see these are always kind of sending out a voltage, whereas the accelerometer is how quickly you did that movement, if that makes sense. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. If you're seeing this video, this is now on my Patreon. You can get it at the $5 tier. I'm sorry, I have to eat. Awesome. So you can go and go and do this now. It's fun. Goodbye. <laughs>